Hi, Dom here again in the kitchen. Today, a quick salsa fresca. In your food bank, you often have tomatoes, and we've had lime recently. Sometimes you have onions. Um, this is a quick salsa recipe. Chop everything up, and it's a fresh one, fresca, fresh, meaning no cooking. So you do it, you let it sit for a couple of minutes, uh, maybe an hour, and then serve it fresh with nachos, tacos, tortillas, um, fajitas. I like it with scrambled eggs. So in my recipe, I'll have, I'm gonna take four uh, tomatoes. They, they come from food bank. We just went through the stuff we received for you guys. And sometimes they're not in a great shape. So I'm just gonna cut through it, take the heart out. Got to think about a compost bucket. When you take the heart out, sometimes these um, tomatoes, especially those, the big round one, you might find that they have inside what I call like little hooks. It's like part of this stem is very hard and woody. And sometimes I like to go in and take it out because it's like, like little piece of stem, white stem, white green stem. And I find them really hard. So if I'm gonna do a salsa, if I wanna do a salsa, I don't want all the liquid in it, otherwise it's gonna to be too runny. So I've got here my a little sieve over my bucket. I'm gonna take, wait a minute. Quick now with my little bowl. I'm gonna put everything I don't want there. So when I cut my um, tomatoes, I might want to take all that liquidy jelly stuff with the seeds out because that's just going to add water. Just going to take it all out just with my finger. My hands are clean. I've washed my tomatoes. Everything is washed right now. So, of course, when we start cooking, it's the first thing to think about. So, I'm just squeezing out the liquid out of my tomatoes, getting the seeds, the stems out. Not the stem, but the fleshy. I would call that gluey, fleshy thing inside. Yeah. So I'm just going to do that to my tomatoes. When you receive tomatoes and they're really ripe, that's one thing to do because you're not going to, you're going to do it right away. You can keep up to five days in your fridge. And it's really a nice thing to have fast if you want to do a taco night and you realize you don't have uh, salsa but you have all the other ingredients. The original recipe did not call for garlic but I will add garlic because I'm thinking about it I'm just going to squeeze my garlic right now be ready for later when I want to chop it up. Ooh, a lot of juice out of there. So about this is not going to be a big one. I'm going to use three tomatoes. I think they're pretty big. If you have a food processor, this could get like super easy. You just prepare all your food and your um, tomatoes. I would cut them in big chunks. And so with the onions and everything, and you just throw it in the food processor. If you don't want to, if you don't have a food processor, we're going to do it by hand, you and I. I'm just not being very shy here. I'm just ripping this apart. Because all the interior, what I want is what's going to give substance to my sauce, to my salsa. Well, that's what salsa is, Spanish sauce. So I've got all my flesh. And usually, and because I took everything out, there's not a whole lot of liquid. This is also, get it all out that side. All right, chopping. It's good when you have a knife that's pretty sharp. So we want it as fine as possible. Sideways, one side, and then when I'm chopping, I'm keeping the blade in contact with my knuckles. And I'm keeping, I'm moving, moving, uh, carrying along my knife and my fingers moving at the same time. There's always contact with my knife and my 
my fingers, but my fingers, it's my knuckle, my fingers are pointing away so that I know where my knife is all the time. I can feel it and move appropriately. Of course, this takes time and practice to be able to, to do this. That doesn't take any practice when you just throw everything beside the container. Jeez. too much big chunks in the salsa. You want to be able to scoop and in your scoop you want a variety, you want a bit of tomatoes, a bit of, of uh, onion and so today I'm going to add to mine some cilantro. Many of you don't like cilantro. I love cilantro. I love myself some cilantro. Again I'm going to cut my onion quite thinly, like I'm doing a multiple cut on the top here. Traditionally, you cut your onion sideways of many length. I think this, and then I'll cut it. Of course, if this is not a technique you ever practice, or you had the person one on one teaching you, just go the safest way you can to have the smallest piece, pieces of possible. Because you, in the salsa, you you know. Especially because it's fresh, the onion is fresh, it's very oniony. When it's cooked, it kind of uh, mellows the flavor, but this is going to be fresh, so I've got it really nice and fine. Wash my lime, squeeze it a little bit. Squeezing it kind of breaks the, the cells inside, so it makes it easier to extract the juice. If you've never seen a juice extractor, I love this one. It's not made of plastic, it's made of some metal and it's solid, so I can really go in there. Because lime are often dry inside, so it's really hard to get everything one of those things. Ugh. Get some, put a little bit of oomph in this. garlic that I squished earlier. Again, I'm going to cut it really finely. If you have like a garlic press, that's probably a good way also making sure you have only small little pieces. But everybody loves garlic. Is that true? Good enough. Right there. My cilantro. Um, I want about half a cup. Once this is going to be chopped, it's going to be about half a cup, maybe more, but I'm okay with that. Um, thing with cilantro, when you have parsley, you only want to cut the, le uh, the leaves because the stems are a bit too tough. But with cilantro, the stem and the leaves are good to eat. So I'm going to just I've washed it all together I'm going to cut it. I'll just put it everything tight bundle and I'm cutting everything, leave and stem also tiny, tiny.
So you see I cut in one direction and then I move my whole um, pack of chopped stuff and I cut at the other angle. Taking off my blade. That's it. About half a cup. If you prefer fresh basil, that would be great too. I'm gonna wash my hands. Alright, for spice, I've got some cumin. I will add about, this is half a teaspoon. I'll go, oh, you know what I forgot? It's hotness, like a hot pepper. Wait a minute. Let me start that. Alright, I forgot hot. We want an element of hotness. This is not a whole lot, and because it's fresh and not cooked, I don't want to add too much uh, hot pepper to start with because oh, my hand is wet. Oh, crap. <laughs> Should have waited eh? until it was dry. Okay, got a glove my hot pepper I just want a little bit if it's not hot enough then I can always add but it's really hard to take out I'm just cutting here two thin slice and I put a glove for the hand that's going to be touching this be careful with hot pepper um because you know you cutting it then you have some on your hand and then you touch your eyes or you your baby's crying and go toward your baby and you forget you've touched something hot and it gets on their skin or their face you do not want that be very mindful around hot stuff cutting it very fine again and I barely have probably maybe like half a teaspoon, something like that. Okay, this is really awkward, the glove was sticky. Right, and the spice. What did I do with my spoon? Man, I had one, I promise. Sheesh. All right. The spoon is inside. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, I'm gonna do a half a teaspoon of cumin. Cumin is also one of those uh, spice that people either really like or don't like. A few people I've heard also allergic to cumin. So I'm gonna add, I think I'm gonna have a whole teaspoon. This is a half teaspoon, my spoon, like a whole teaspoon of salt because Tomatoes kind of need some salt. I'm gonna just add, I bought the um, pepper and a bit of dry oregano. Just a bit on the palm of my hand, crushing in. All right. Salsa fresca, you can also make some with um, fresh fruit like uh, mangoes. Probably pear, but mango definitely. I've seen mangoes and really good. This looks good. It would take a little while for the flavor to come through. So I would um, let it sit for about an hour in the fridge. Whatever you don't use, using it up within five days. And that's it. We got it. We're going to have to taste it. I got to taste it. Mm -hmm. Don't even have to wait an hour. It's really good and tasty. And just enough spiciness. Not overwhelming. A little. So that was a good one. So if you have a lot of tomatoes on uh, food bank and sometimes they're iffy, that's something you can do.